A warm good morning to all. Welcome to this session on IGNO Admissions July 2020 being conducted by Regional Centre Cochin. The purpose of this session is to provide information to all our viewers about the ongoing July 2020 admission session with a focus on the programs in on commerce and management discipline. Thank you very much for joining in for this session with us. First, let me share some information to you about the university, IGNO or the Indira Gandhi National Open University. IGNO was established in the year 1985 with the objective to, for democratizing higher education by taking it to the doorstep of the learners and to provide access to high quality education to all who seek it. In addition, to offer need-based academic programs by offering professional and vocational orientation to the courses and to promote and develop distance education in the country. It would be interesting for our viewers to know some of the major or important achievements of the university over the years. IGNO has come to emerge as the largest open university in the world. It has been recognized as the center of excellence in distance education by the Common Wealth of Learning, the COL, and also the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by the Common Wealth of Learning. The launch of a series of 24-hour educational channels, Gyan Darshan, regular educational broadcast with facility for live interaction. Student enrollment has reached 3 million. UNESCO has declared IGNO as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in the year 2010. IGNO also has the largest network of learner support systems. In addition, it would be interesting to share with our viewers some of the unique features of the university, such as a national jurisdiction with the international presence, flexible admission rules, it facilitates individualized study by the learner, use of latest ICTs, information and communication technologies in a big way, cost effective programs, and the modular approach to the programs, etc. are some of the prominent or unique features of the university, which would be of interest for our viewers to know. Now, let me come to, to share with you some information about our regional center, IGNO Regional Center Coaching. IGNO Regional Center Coaching is one among the 67 regional centers and recognized regional centers in the country. Each regional center caters to the requirements of providing open and distance education programs in the region under its jurisdiction. Presently, Regional Center Cochin caters to the requirements of the six districts of Kerala, namely Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, and Alapura. In addition, the Union Territory of Lakshadweep is also under the jurisdiction of Regional Center Cochin. Now, coming to the programs that our Regional Center is offering, the programs offered are at the certificate level, diploma level, the postgraduate diploma, the bachelor and the master's level programs. So definitely our learners from, especially from these six districts and the union territory of Lakshadweep can enroll under the regional center coaching. I may also mention that we have two other regional centers, regional center Trivandrum and regional center Vatakara catering to the requirements of the other districts in the state of Kerala. Now let me tell you about the academic programs or programs offered by the university. 
The programs offered, in fact, include a wide array of programs which have been developed and offered to the various schools of studies. There are 21 schools of studies in the university. For instance, to name a few, such as the School of Computer Information Sciences, they provide programs, the programs offered under the school are in the area of computer applications and similar related area. School of Tourism and Hospitality Service Management provide programs in the area of tourism, right from the certificate level, diploma, degree, and masters. Similarly, is a school of management studies, which offer programs in the management and commerce, which I would be highlighting in this particular session. So there are a number of schools of studies through which our pro the IGNO programs are offered. Now the academic programs offered by the university are launched with a view to fulfill the various kinds of learner needs. For instance, one need I would like to say is the certification need. There is a need for certification by a lot of prospective learners. So many of the IGNO programs cater to the need for the certification of our learners. Improvement of skills is another important area in which many of our programs cater to. And many of our learners enroll with the objective of improving their skills in some specified field or discipline. Self-enrichment, those who want to get enriched can join in IGNO programs. Acquisition of professional qualifications is a requirement in the respective professions. And the IGNO provides a platform for acquisition of professional skills in a very flexible manner. Another important learner need which IGNO caters to is the need of the learner for continuing education and professional development at the workplace. And therefore, one can find a good number of our learners are employed and pursuing some program from IGNO basically for the purpose of continuing education and for professional development at the workplace. Diversification and updating of knowledge is also a requirement, more so in the current times. And many of our IGNO programs would help you to diversify into new areas or to update your knowledge. And of course, empowerment. By way of enrolling and pursuing IGNO programs, there is also the activity of empowerment. So that is also the one aspect which I would like to tell. Now let me talk to you specifically about IGNO admissions July 2020 session. As I mentioned, the admissions are currently open for this admission session July 2020. We look at the programs that are offered by the regional center for July 2020 session. These are of different kinds in the sense that we have certificate level programs, diploma programs, PG diploma or the post-graduate diploma programs, the degree and the post-graduation degree. Now, certificate programs are basically programs of six months duration. Most of our certificate programs are of a six months duration, which means it's the minimum duration is six months and there is a maximum duration also, which is mostly two years in most of the certificate programs. So these programs, uh, I would say, are more towards value addition or as add-on programs for our prospective learners. Some of the certificate programs I would just like to mention, such as the Certificate in Information Technology, Certificate in Functional English, Certificate in Business Skills, Food and Nutrition, Tourism Studies, etc. So you would understand that the certificate programs are also in varied areas of interest by which anybody interested in these areas can enroll as an add-on program and get benefited of these. The diploma programs in the university are of one year duration. Some of the diploma programs which we are offering are the Diploma in Tourism Studies, Diploma in Early Childhood Education, Diploma in Nutrition and Health Education, etc., to name a few. Most of our programs, the certificate and diploma level, specify the eligibility for most cases as standard 10 plus 2 or equivalent, which means a, a student who has passed from the school system and goes on to the higher education is eligible to pursue a certificate or diploma program as a value addition or an add-on program. In addition, we have the postgraduate diploma programs as the name suggest, suggests it is to be done after the graduation. We have uh, programs in different areas. For instance, the postgraduate diploma in higher education 
postgraduate diploma in school leadership and management, etc., catering to the requirements of improvement in the air for the those who are in the education sector and specifically the teachers and other such in, involved in that sector. Similarly, we have the postgraduate diploma in counseling and family therapy, food safety and quality management, etc., to name a few. The bachelor's program or the degree program, some of the most popular programs of the university, and it includes the BA, BCom, the tourism, and social work, and an array of disciplines are being offered under the degree programs. At the post-graduation level also, a number of disciplines are being offered in which many of our students enroll. For instance, the Master of so um, Degree in Sociology, Political Science, Social Work, Management, Psychology, Tourism, Economics, etc. So we can see that there are programs at various, various levels and in various disciplines. And according to one's choice, one's interest, and one's learner needs, I would say that each of us who are listening to this program may try to enroll and look at the possibility of how they can make the best use of IGNO programs. Now, coming specifically to the IGNO admissions for July 2020 session, with a focus on the commerce and management discipline. The programs in management and commerce are offered, as I mentioned earlier, under the School of Management Studies or the SOMS. Under the Regional Center Coaching, we are offering a number of programs in this area, which has been listed here. The Master of Business Administration, the MBA program, specialization postgraduate diploma in different streams, such as human resources, operations management, marketing, finance, financial market practices. Master of Business Administration in the Banking and Finance, the MCOM program, and we have a number of MCOM programs with major and specific areas, such as the Master of Commerce in Finance and Taxation, Business Policy and Corporate Governance, Management Accounting and Financial Strategies. At the post-graduation level, Regional Center is offering the Postgraduate Diploma in International Business Operations. Graduation level programs include the Bachelor of Commerce, the BCom G program. There are also programs, Bachelor of Commerce programs with a major in Accountancy and Finance, Corporate Affairs and Administration, Financial and Cost Accounting. The Certificate level program of the six months duration IGNO Regional Center is offering the Certificate in Business Skills. Now, let me tell you about these programs for the benefit of our viewers. The MBA program is offered by the university. And the requirements for a, for a person to enroll in the MBA program is that a graduate, including those with the Chartered Accountancy, Cost Accountancy, or Company Secretaryship, with 50% marks for the general category and 45% for reserved category, category as per the Government of India rules. In addition, they need to have the clearance of the open mat entrance test. That is the entrance test conducted for admission to the IGNO MBA program, which is, which is being conducted by the National Testing Agency. The minimum duration is two years. And of course, in IGNO being a very flexible system, if you look at the programs of IGNO, we have a minimum duration and a maximum duration for completion. The MBA program comprises of 21 courses and the fee is also being taken per course basis. So this is a program which many of our, those who are in the employed sector can take benefit of and enroll in the MBA program. And they have to clear the entrance examination, the open mat. There are a number of specialization diploma programs in management offered by the regional center. The eligibility stipulated is any graduate, as I mentioned, which is similar to that specified in for the MBA program. However, the requirement of clearing the entrance is not there here, which means any graduate with 50 percentage of marks for the general category and others as specified here can enroll and pursue a post-graduation diploma in management. A feature of this I would like to highlight is the lateral entry of an applicant who was enrolled in the postgraduate diploma program. That is, once they enroll in the program and they pursue the program, 
if they desire they can get into the mba stream after clearing the open mat that is basically to encourage our students to obtain higher qualification and the lateral entry scheme is being taken benefit of by many of our learners so that after their diploma program or the pg diploma program they can move further to have their mba degree or earn their mba degree another program is the mba the for the banking and finance or the master of business administration banking and finance as it indicates this is an mba specifically catering to the needs of continuing education and professional education at the workplace for those who are involved in the banking and financial sector and the eligibility stipulated is that they should be a graduate from a recognized university should have passed the caiib examination and they should also have a experience of working in the banking or the financial sector for at least 2 years and we find good number of uh, applicants from the banking or financial sector enrolling so that they have some kind of value addition to move up in their career now coming to the mcom program or the master of commerce program this is to meet the needs in the commerce education at all levels to provide manpower to the industry trade psus government and private enterprises in the areas of finance international business and accounting the eligibility is bachelor's degree or a higher degree from a recognized university and this is also a popular program which many of our learners enroll a feature of this program which i would like to highlight is that students will be awarded the pg dibo qualification on successfully completion of all the courses of the first year of the mcom program now coming to the mcom programs which which are, spe which are specific in terms of the areas or the major in which it is being offered that is the master of commerce in finance and taxation master of commerce in business policy and corporate governance and master of commerce in management accounting and financial strategies let us look at these the master of commerce in finance and taxation has been designed and developed by igno in collaboration with the board of studies institute of chartered accountants of india it's exclusively for the chartered accountancy final year students as we know those who go into the stream of chartered accountancy many times pursue it after their plus 2 level and therefore this is an opportunity for those who have done the graduation to pursue ahead and do their masters degree by enrolling in this program and therefore some of the credits are earned from igno and the remaining credits are earned by them from the chartered accountancy final course and we find good number of very focused learners coming in for enrolling in these kind of programs the other program is a master of commerce in business policy and corporate governance which is exclusively for those who are pursuing the company secretaryship professional program and this has been developed in association with the institute of company secretaries of india so any graduate in any discipline can along with having passed the company secretaryship executive program and those who have passed the company secretaryship are also eligible to join for this program the next mcom program is in the area of management accounting and financial strategies this has been designed and developed in collaboration with the institute of cost accountants of india exclusively for those students of the icai and therefore the eligibility mentioned is a graduate in any discipline or equivalent qualification from a recognized university or institute and they should have passed the intermediate course of the cost accountants of india or should have passed the final course because as i mentioned earlier they are awarded the degree by way of pursuing some of the credits from igno and the remaining from the body the icai body now let me tell you about the post graduate diploma in international business operations as the name suggests this program has the main objective to equip our learners with necessary conceptual entrepreneurial and analytical skills required for handling international business operations 
A bachelor's degree in any discipline or equivalent is the eligibility to join for this program. And we find good number of students seeking uh, requirements or asking queries on this particular program from the regional center. At the bachelor's level, a popular program is the Bachelor of Commerce or the BCom G program. It is to provide commerce education to a large number of learners to develop their analytical skills, financial and accounting skills, as well as managerial skills. And therefore, we find good number of learners after their 10 plus 2 or equivalent, they are found to join in this program and pursue their graduation in the commerce stream. And the programs offered cater to the CBCS requirements of core courses, discipline specific electives, ability enhancement, compulsory courses, skill enhancement, general electives, etc., which altogether provide them a wholesome requirement and enrichment in the area of commerce and allied areas. Now coming to the other BCom programs, there's a BCom with major in accountancy and finance, BCom with major in financial and cost accounting, the Bachelor of Commerce with major in corporate affairs and administration. The Bachelor of Commerce, Accountancy and Finance is developed in collaboration with the Board of Studies Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and exclusively for the Chartered Accountancy students. Here it is, the entry is that a student who has done 10 plus 2 or is equivalent and they have passed the common proficiency test or the PE1 test or the foundation from ICAI and further who have registered as stipulated by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, they are eligible. So what we see is that otherwise these students, they do their 12th and they move on to the Chartered Accountancy. Many times they do not get an opportunity to pursue their graduation or post-graduation. So these programs specifically cater to the requirements for or the need for having a graduate degree by such kind of learners. The next program is the BCom Financial and Cost Accounting developed in collaboration with the Institute of Cost and Work Accountants of India. Here, this is the requirement stipulated as 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the registration in the ICAI Foundation course. Some of the stipulations mentioned by uh, the body has to be catered to. As I mentioned earlier, they do a few of the courses from the university you know, and the remaining is earned by them by associating and pursuing their courses under the Institute of Cost and Work Accountants of India. And we find good number of our learners who after their 10 plus 2 are pursuing the bachelor's program and they go ahead even to do the PG program so that by the time they are a cost accountant or a chartered accountant, uh, or a company secretaryship, they have also been become graduates and postgraduates for the specific discipline and maybe they that will add to their competence at the workplace. The next program is the Bachelor of Commerce, Corporate Affairs and Administration, which is developed in collaboration with the Institute of Company Secretaries of India and it stipulates 10 plus 2 or its equivalent as eligibility and in addition, they should be registered for the company secretaryship foundation course, or they should have passed the intermediate or executive program of the company secretaryship. Now, let me tell you about the certificate in business skills program offered by the university. As I mentioned, this is a program at the certificate level and is of a minimum duration of six months and a maximum duration of two years. This program has been developed jointly by IGNO, Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, and the Commonwealth of Learning, the COL Canada, with the aim to enable NGOs and other agencies to develop business skills, especially among the unemployed youth, women, etc., so that they can avail some gainful employment opportunities. This would be of interest to many of our youngsters because we find good number of learners seeking details about this program and we also find many of the graduating students especially in the commerce stream the BCom students during their first year or second year or third year are often found to inquire and also pursue this program as it gives them an add-on or a value addition from the same area in the business skills and this provides them basic inputs with regard to the business organization 
uh, preparatory course in commerce on business communication entrepreneurship as well as a lab course so many of our learners who are concurrently doing their graduation or have done their 10 plus 2 level and seek some kind of enrichment with regard with regard to sharpening their business skills or moving on to the sector are found to join for this program that is the certificate in business skills now let me before moving into the particular online portal i would like to summarize to you about the various programs that i mentioned that is spoke about the mba program the master of business administration which is of great relevance for those employed in various corporates and having their own enterprises to pursue and enhance their competence and their managerial skills in addition we have the post graduate diploma in various streams such as marketing finance operations etc and specifically they can pursue and complete their pg diploma in management for the banking sector is offered the mba program in banking and finance now coming to the commerce stream igno is offering the mcom program for graduates from any discipline and also there is the bcom program which uh, students after their plus 2 especially once they they have done their 10 plus 2 and are very keen to definitely pursue only the commerce stream this option is found to be very suitable by them in addition i also spoke to you about the mcom and the bcom programs being offered with the various bodies such as the institute of cost accountants of india cost and work accountants of india institute of the chartered accountants of india and institute of company secretaryship of india specifically catering the requirements of those who are in that sector to gain a bachelor's or a master's degree in addition is the certificate program business skills with a view to have gainful gainful employment in business uh, sector now let me uh, tell about the specific uh, details about how one can apply for the igno admissions july 2020 i'll request my viewers to kindly visit the website of the university www.ignou.ac.in definitely it provides lot of information about the university and as a prospective learner it would be of interest to you to visit the website of the university and know more in detail about this university the admissions for igno most of the admissions for igno programs is now through the online portal the link for the online admissions is as displayed here that is igno admission dot summit dot edu dot in so those who are very really interested to join for the program has to visit this admission online link the last date for admission uh, provided as of now is 31st of july 2020 another feature i would like to tell our viewers is about the facility for fee exemption claim for scst applicants for the specified list of programs by the university and it is for those who are not employed so when one tries to employ or tries to enroll for the program they will find the instructions provided in the online portal and if they can give their claim for availing the facility for fee exemption for those learners in addition this uh, i would also like to say for the benefit for the benefit of our current learners if they are on in this session that the re-registration for the university is also totally online now and they can do their re-registration which is to pursue their subsequent years second year or third year or the next semester as the case may be through the online portal now when you visit the online portal of the university which i mentioned is igno@admission.summit.edu.in this is how you would find the screen as we can see it's a very user friendly where you have the access to the home page of the university then the regional centers are displayed which you can also find regional center kochin there are lot of faq so the frequently asked questions which many of our prospective learners may have at their own end and they can check out the faqs provided with, res with respect to admissions then this is important the program information it provides detailed information about various programs offered by the university and you can check that out apart from this how do we register in the online portal i require your attention to this particular box here which says click here for new registration 
So a prospective applicant basically has to apply here by clicking on the new registration. And once we register with the username and the password, the details are sent to us. Once we have registered, we can use the sign in option and go ahead and fill up your application form, submit the relevant details, uh, choose the study center you want, etc., as well as upload the documents which have been specified in the portal. The last date for admission specified here is 31st July 2020. And also the fee exemption available for SCST is also found highlighted in the online portal. The instructions to fill application form is very clearly provided right here in the portal. The applicants can read through this and do the admission process. Now, in case there is any kind of problem faced or any kind of support that you require, there is a help desk mentioned here where you could send an email to get your particular problem or the query that you have to be solved. And also, if the students uh, trying to enroll the regional center coaching, if they face any problem with regard to their admission, uploading of documents, etc., please feel free to write to us to the regional center mail ID rccoaching at igno.ac.in. So this is the portal, how it would be when you try to join for the IGNO program. Now, let me also tell you about some of the other details of the Regional Center of Coaching. As we all know, during the current pandemic time, we have a lot of online support and support to various other mechanisms being offered. So for your benefit, it's displayed here is the website of our Regional Center, which is rccoaching.igno.ac.in, which provides various information about the university and the Regional Center from time to time. Regional Center also has a Facebook account. The Twitter account of the Regional Center also provides various updates, both of interest to our current learners and to our prospective learners. And then is the re email ID of the Regional Center where we would request our prospective learners also, if they would know more about some specific aspects, they are free to write to us. The website of the university, I would repeat, is www.igno.ac.in. And the link for admissions is ignoadmissions.samarth.edu.in. I would like to thank you all for being with us for this session. We have come to the end of this session. Thank you very much. Hope we could provide you relevant information on IGNO admissions July 2020 and particularly on programs in commerce and management discipline. Thank you very much and would request that if you have any queries on this session, you may please place in the chat mode. We would try to respond to your queries. Thank you very much about this uh, particular uh, kind of uh, support being given to us. I would also like to tell for the benefit of our uh, students who are also maybe currently with us during this program that uh, the, with regard to the term and examination, I think some queries are coming in with regard to the term and examination June 2020 uh, regarding the dates. Uh, may I tell our students that as of now, the dates have not been announced. And once it is announced, once it is decided, definitely our students would be intimated about the same. Similarly, with regard to the assignment submission, soft copy submission of assignments, which is ongoing now during the current situation, and the project also is provided in the regional center website. And you will try to please try to avail of these benefits. We've also been sending information to our students about this. But still, if there are very queries, any queries on this, please uh, go to the regional center website and get specific information about that. We have provided uh, specific instructions on how you have to submit your assignments through an online link has been mentioned. Please visit, please submit the assignments so that you can successfully pursue your program. Similarly, with regard to the synopsis project link also on the regional center website. The regional center website is also very user friendly and a lot of information has been provided by the uh, regional center website. IGNO programs, as you know, is a, is IGNO is a, is a pro university established by the act of parliament and all its degrees and diplomas are recognized by the UGC and the AIU as well. 
Thank you very much uh, for being with us in this session. Thank you.
for the benefit of our current learners who would also be viewing this program, we would like to inform that there has been an extension of the last date for the submission of the term and examination form, that is 15th of July. Similarly, for the submission of their assignments, the date has been extended up to 15th of J July. So learners, do not get worried and you can make use of this extended time so that you can complete your other activities as required. So I would like to just mention about the extension of dates up to 15th of July. So I hope this particular session, which the regional center had organized, had been of benefit for our students and our prospective learners, especially those who are looking forward to joining in IGNO admissions July 2020 session, which is currently on in the IGNO admission online portal. And many of your queries with regard to the admissions, I hope, would have been addressed to some extent at least. We do look forward to you joining in IGNO programs and we are here to support you or respond to your queries with regard to any kind of queries with regard to the online uh, submission of application, uh, submission of the application for the new admissions July 2020. Similarly, I hope this session has also been able to uh, provide some information for our current learners in terms of the date extension, etc. So please do visit the IGNO website uh, that is www.igno.ac.in and also visit the online admission portal of the university to enroll in a program as per your specific requirements. If there are any specific queries that you would like to ask us, you may please place it on the chat mode so that we would like to res respond to your queries with regard to the admissions July 2020. Or any other queries that you have, you may place it in the chat mode. I would also like to inform for the benefit of our current learners is regarding the re-registration because uh, recently we have been receiving a number of queries from our students through emails and other modes about the re-registration. So re-registration is currently on for the July 2020. Re-registration refers to uh, going forward and paying your fees and other details so that you get enrolled to the subsequent year or the subsequent semester. So this particular thing is also available on the online portal and many of our students are asking this. So I would like to also tell for the benefit of such learners. And let me thank you all for being with us on this session. Thank you very much.